Hello, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is the last day of October. It's October 31st of 2017. Let me put this, turn this tracking thing off here. This is a review of this uh, solar laser light LED projector. And I used it in here the other day. You can plug it into 110. And then last night I put it out side. This is it, by the way. It has a nice long cable, by the way. Still got dirt on it. I just pulled it out of the uh, yard just a few minutes ago. And it was out in the rain also. And it worked. Let's see. It's working now. Not plugged in, by the way, so it's working off the battery. I have, you know, plugged in, but it's not plugged into the outlet. And uh, I got a very bright light in here. Now when it's outside, of course, it works off the battery. There's the uh, solar cell. So, this by the way, I didn't use this, but uh, this you could bolt to your wall, bolt to the bolt, bolt, uh, screw into the uh, ceiling or whatever I guess you wanted to do. Well, I don't know, it might that might come out of there. Does it screw in? I don't. Anyway, you can mount that with that, so you can it be used indoors or outdoors. Uh, so what else did I want to? Uh, well, I made two videos, so in a little bit I'm going to splice in the other two parts. There is a picture. I think couldn't get a very good picture with... Um, there's a picture I got. Now I've actually got it uh, not aimed up high enough. I've got arthritis really bad and it hurt to uh, for me to bend over and but I've got it down a little too low so and now it, it stops occasionally and then it you know does red and then it does multicolored or whatever. So uh, let's come back here. Uh, here is, like I said, a long. There's a spike. Now you don't. Yeah, that screws in, so you don't screw it. If you wanted to use that, red, green, and red, green. Red, green, and red, green. Red rum, red rum. Wow, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it's that bright or not. Now, I didn't try a bunch of different... Di I just went out because of my arthritis and put it in the ground and I put it in the ground pretty close to the building. I think you'll see that in the uh, video that's coming up. So, this gives you, you can look this up, gives you the dimensions on it. Solar battery is not bad. Um, well, this, the the uh, Solar cells are a pretty good size area, I think, and uh, the battery now, I forget, I guess it was on the box. I don't know where that is right now, but uh, probably tells the size here, doesn't it? Maybe it doesn't. Anyway, no need for me to, you can freeze this if you want to. Uh, or you can look on, oh, here it is. 2200 milliamps. It's a pretty good size battery. So, I do recommend it. I'm 
going to hope I can get it back in the box exactly. My uh, daughter and her husband just got a new house, and I'm going to send that to them so that they can use that in their yard. What else am I sending them? Something. Oh, a large LED a light that they could put into maybe a garage ceiling it would be a good one to light up a garage, a garage area, I think. Something like that. You know, put something else in the box. I use, I like the uh, United States Post Office flat rate boxes. So if you can get it in the box, you can send it at that, you know, at that rate. So I think that's it. I uh, thank you for watching. Uh, don't touch the mouse. There's a little video coming up and uh, a couple pictures I took, still pictures with my camera. Thank you very much for watching. Okay, this is the solar laser light. I'm now going to be taking it outside, but uh, let me find the little bit of data here that's on the box here. Uh, solar panel, 2.5 watts, built-in lithium battery, 2200 milliamps, a red and green LED, uh, protection from overcharging and discharge. Place the product outdoors with the solar panel facing the sun directly for five to eight hours and it will charge the light for four to six hours. Work pattern automatically charges in daytime while automatically discharging at night. Press the button to make it power on and power off. This is the now this is the plate that you could, you know, you could bolt into a floor or a wall or something like that and mount it. The spike here on the bottom, whoops, where is the camera view here? I just put on there, it screws in. Of course you would unscrew that if you were going to use that plate that I just showed you. Here is the unit. and. Uh, I can almost see myself in there. And then here is, the, of course, the on and off button. And here is the solar cells. So I'm now going to take it outside and install it outside. I've been playing with it for the last few days inside. So hang on and let's go out. Okay, I've put it in the ground. Thomas! Thomas! Meow! 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 I could have used your help putting this in the ground here. Okay, Thomas, I'll get you some food here in a minute. Don't mark this solar light, please. So I've got it in the ground now. So I'll come out when it gets dark and turn the light on. Okie doke.